Hey guys, I'm JW13 and welcome to episode 5 of my FIFA 16 Liverpool career. And right off the bat, we've had a transfer offer from Crystal Palace for Dijan Lovren. Uh, it's only a 7.5 million, which is his value. So I'm going to accept it as he's not going to really get much game time for us. And I think I can go out and get a younger player. So if you've got any suggestions on who I should go out and look for as a centre-back who's young and possibly English or at least British would be helpful uh, to keep our squad pretty much close to home. Uh, we've just had an offer as well for Simon Mignolet from Aston Villa for 4.7 million. Uh, I'm going to accept it. He's not going to be our first choice keeper. Now we've got Timo Horn. So I'm going to let Mignolet head off. Right, it's time for game number three of the Premier League. And we've got starting 11 of Horning Goal, Scales Sacco centre backs, Flanagan on the right, Moreno on the left, uh, central midfield three of Henderson, Chan, and Milner, Coutinho and Firmino just playing behind Daniel Sturridge. Uh, we've made one change on the bench, and that is uh, Dijan Lovren's come out, and Joe Gomez is now on the bench. Come on, let's get a head on this, get it away. Well done, Timo Horn. Come on, get there first. That's it, nice. Oh, nice turn. Well done, Firmino. Go on, you've got the break on here. Give it to Studge. Go on, Studge, you're in. Go on, Studge. Go on, Studge. Go on. Oh, you got a play there? Go on. Oh, it's 1 0. It's James Miller. Perfect start to the game. 10 minutes in. Ooh. Take that, Arsenal. have another look at this. Mino put storage in. He's one on one. Couple of defenders there. Just sees Milner at the back post. Nice little slide real pass. I know a lot of players don't like them goals but when you're playing away at Arsenal you'll take any goal that you can get. Oh. That's it. Give it back. Oh yes Chad. Go on. All the way. Oh. Let's not give a foul there. Nice. Oh. And again. Oh, nice. Have a go, Hendo. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Lucky Hendo. Good closing down, Studge. Oh, yes, he's won the ball back straight away. Oh, nice dinker. Oh, that is not where they asked either. Jeez. Oh. Look that way. See a player wide open, you go to pass it to him, and then the ball just goes to someone who's clearly not who you passed it to. But anyway, there's the half time whistle, it's 1 0. Early goal coming in for us from Firmino. And here we are, let's have a look at the match stats. Of course, Arsenal have had more possession, but we've had all the shots three of them, and two of them on target. So, in that respect, we are rightfully winning the game. Possession wise, we need to up it a little bit more. Good run, Flano. One more. Oh, good lad, what a ball. Come on, Firmino. Oh, you've done him, you've done him, cut inside. Oh, that shot was awful. That is not what you expect after that great build up work. Great header, though. Come on, Milner. Give it to him. Coutinho. Oh, just muscle out there again. Oh, thank you, ref. Give the foul. Right, let's, uh, let's see, colour a second and colour a third player. Gonna have a crack here with James Milner. Let's have a go. Ah, way too high, way too high. Good battle, oh, lucky I've done. Come on, who's there? Head on it, head on it. Oh, I think Flanagan just did enough there. Just enough. Got it away for us. Well done, Flano. I right, need to get this way as well. Well done, Timo Horn. He's absolutely dominating his penalty box there when anything comes across. That's it. Nice. Oh, good ball. And one more. I'll oh, go on, Hendo. Have a crack. Oh, saved! Oh, it's dropped perfectly for Coutinho! 
Oh, 2-0 up away at Arsenal. Both goals basically from in the six yard box. Great strike. Keeper saves, but drops straight to Coutinho's feet. He can't even miss that. 2 0. Get over to him, Firmino. Can't fly out, he's yours. Away, Sacco. Not sure if it was Sacco or uh, Miller who got that. Well done, whoever did. Keepers again. Well done. Oh, there you go. There's the throw. Oh, that's not the throw. That is not the throw. No! Oh, my word. That is not the throw I was after. Oh, my God. Theo Bloody Walcott. Can't believe this. Comes out, clears it perfectly. See Henderson just out there. Go, I'll throw it to him. It takes that long for the action to actually happen. But Walcott's then there and just hits it. Oh, it was going wide as well until I hit Moreno. Oh, that's a double whammy. Oh, I didn't even notice that. It's even worse. Oh, well, 2 1 anyway. Let's go. Let's see if we can get a third, get our two goal lead. Uh, one more. Put him through. Oh, he's been kept on side. Can he chip him? He's gone for it. He's only gone and done it. <laughs> I don't know why Czech was standing there. Oh, but I am grateful he was. And there's our two goal cushion back. Coutinho with his second goal. It's 3 1 to us. Look at this. What defender? Look, the defender's just leaving him. Completely on side there, I think it was Mertesacker. And then check, no man's land. Coutinho delicately chips it just about over Peter Cech's fingertips and just into the bottom corner. Beautiful goal. Check was mighty close to that. Oh, and just bounces in. Alright, here come the subs. Uh, bringing off Ben Tech, uh, bringing on Ben Tech, Ings and Gomez for storage for Mino and Sacco. Just to freshen up the game. Seven or eight minutes and away. Oh, geez, the first time Timo Horns come for a ball and not got it. Rude, almost. So close to getting it though. Thankfully, we've still got our two goal cushion. Get your head on that, Benteke. Good lad. Oh, nice ball. It's Henderson. Henderson's in. Oh, and slots it in the back of the net. That was just too easy there. 4 1 up at Arsenal. Look at that. They just left a massive gap between the two centre backs there. Henderson just ran into it. Perfectly slots it in the back of the net. Check with no chance. Get your head on it. Oh, nice. Oh, I was going to go through there. But there's the full time whistle. Nice 4 1 win away at the Emirates. That is something I was not expecting after how difficult our first two games were against Stoke and Bournemouth. Struggling to find the back of the net, but it just seems to come together perfectly today. Straight to the uh, match stats for us. Here we go. We restricted Arsenal to the two shots, so our defence did their job once again. Unfortunately, just that uh, one mistake from Timo Horn throwing it straight to Walcott. But then on the other end, we had nine shots to goal, seven on target again, and putting four of them in. And possession wise, not quite at the same level as Arsenal, but I didn't expect us to be. Away team, so we were sitting back a little bit more and just hitting them on the break, which seemed to work perfectly. Okay, we've had another transfer offer in. It's time for Divock Origi, and it's a two year loan from FC Porto. And I'm going to accept it, he'll get a lot of game time over in Porto. Hopefully, he'll come back a lot more improved than he is at the moment. And there we go, Simon Mignolet's left. Liverpool for Aston Villa in a £4.7 million deal. And we get £4 million towards our budget for that. So that's a good sale, I think. And 
There we are, on to our next game in the Premier League. It's Liverpool versus West Ham at Anfield. Uh, pretty much the same starting eleven as the last game. The only change is Nathaniel Klein's back from injury and he's replacing uh, John Flanagan at right back. Flano's now dropped onto the bench. Oh, what a lot. <laughs> what press in there. Right. Switch the ball over. Get you on another bit. The Klein, even another run. Oh, he sees the run from storage. Can he cross it? Great ball. Oh. Gives it back to Firmino. Oh. Just wide. Just wide. Oof. That was pretty close. Nice. We are definitely playing some good football at the minute. Oh. oh yes. Oh nice run. Can he finish? Oh good save Adrian. That was beautiful football there. Oh, come on Saka, you've got this. Let's get that ball in. Cross the back. Oh brilliant for me though. We see Sturridge. Oh can he make it? Come on Sturge. Oh Adrian just got there first. Ah, oh, it was a good race. Oh, Coutinho's done him. How's it go? Oh, straight at Adrian though. Glad. Oh, what a back heel. Oh, Coutinho just couldn't get that ball out of his feet. But wins it back for us. Oh, I don't know why I passed that all the way back though. Nice. Oh, go on, Stutch. Go on, go on. Have a go! Oh, wild, wild, wild shot over the bar there. Oh, what a ball. Can we have a go? Oh, Hendo. No, we are getting lots of chances. We're unliking the game. We've just played against Arsenal. We're just not putting them in the back of the net. So it's a repeat of the Stoke and Bournemouth games at the moment. Again, from Firmino, he's got to be the player of the match so far. Oh no! Thank God for that. I thought they were in there. Nice ball. There we go. Oh, give me a run there, Catino. Nice. Oh, good ball. Go on, Moreno, get the cross in. Oh, it's just behind him, but Coutinho, oh, referee, come on! Oh, oh, he gives it for them, though. Jesus, ref. Close him down, come on. And there's the half-time whistle. Still nil-nil. But I believe we have been the better team so far today. Just quickly go to the match facts. Yep, we've had more possession, only just, though. And definitely more shots, five on t five shots, four on target to there. West Ham's one shot which was on target. But that was straight down the throat of Timo Horn. I'm going to make one change at half time, bringing off Emre Chan, bringing on Tealmans, just to freshen things up a little bit. Come on, oh, yes. Have a crack. Oh, lucky. Nice long range effort from Philip Coutinho. No cross, no cross, no cross. Get it away. Got away with that there. Come on, Coutinho. Oh, he's done him. He's done him. Oh, referee in the back. This ref does not want to give us a foul, does he? Oh, well done, Firmino. Nice. Oh, great ball. Oh, unlucky. Right, going to make a couple of changes now, guys. Going to bring off uh, Philip Coutinho and Roberto Firmino. Bring on Benteke and Lalana. And make Sturridge drop back just behind Benteke. Just hope that gives us a little bit something different. Oh, nice ball. Go on, Miller. Go on. Go on. Go on. 
Yes! Oh, yes! Get in there, you beauty. You absolute beauty, James Miller. Changed, changed the subs, and it wasn't a sub who did anything. It was James Milner. He's got lots to do there. Manages to just out muscle the defender there to keep hold of the ball and slots it into the back of the net with his left peg. Brilliant from Milner. Oh, go on, Lalana. Get a good ball in. Oh, yes, Benteke! <laughs> so the subs combined there. Lalana going down the wing. Great ball across, and Benteke just. Out jumps his centre back quite easily, puts it in the back of the net. What a ball, what a header. Beautiful. Don't know what Adrian was doing. Nowhere near the ball there. Right, well, 2 0, and that should be game over now. Two goals in four minutes for us. So it's still trying to put the pressure on, good lad. Oh yes, Lana. Oh, and he's through as well. Go on, go on, go on. Slide rope. Oh no, great save. Oh, that was an awful pass. Can't believe that. Lana did everything right until the finish there. Come on, you've got that skill. Oh, get your head on it, Sacco. Good lad. Oh, great football. Can we get Lana? Oh, even better. Sturridge is through. Go on, Sturge. Oh, no, but it's dropped straight to Sacco. I have no idea why Mamadou Sacco was up in that attack, but I'm not going to argue with it. Sturridge really should have put that away to make it three anyway. But Adrian gets the save. And it falls straight from Sacco. I would never have expected him to be up in the uh, left attacking spot, but he was there. Slots it home for his first for us. Oh, and again, Henderson, we're just stealing the ball every time now. Henderson, and it's 4 0 in stoppage time. <laughs> I don't know, I think it was as soon as we put that first in, West Ham's heads just dropped, and we've been intercepting everything since then. Yeah, get our fourth. Skipper's on the score sheet. Look at that, just easily beats the defender to the ball. And then he's one on one with Adrian, and this time we managed to put it in after missing the last couple. Look at that, perfectly in. And there we are, full time whistle. A nice, I wouldn't say comfortable, but very enjoyable 4 0 win. Definitely not comfortable at, at all. We took so many ta uh, chances to score a goal. 13 shots on target, nine of them on target. And it took us until the 75th minute to score a goal. West Ham, though, we did reduce them just to the two shots, one on target, which was straight at Timo Horn. And we did have slightly more possession, so I'm a bit happy with that. Okay, before we finish the episode, guys, gonna have a quick look at the league table. And as you can see, we are actually top of the table on goal difference. After four games, winning three and drawing the one, we have Sunderland level with us. We're a point ahead of Chelsea, two ahead of Everton, and Stoke up in fifth, United down in seventh, and Arsenal 16th, ooh, Spurs 17th. And the bottom three there is quite as expected is Watford, Bournemouth, West Ham, but Spurs and Arsenal just above that at the moment. So it's pretty interesting at both the top and the bottom of the table. But anyway guys, it's the end of this episode and it's also transfer deadline day. So don't forget guys, I am looking for a young centre back to go out and buy on transfer deadline day. So if you've got any suggestions, please just put it in the comments below and I'll have a look and see if I can buy them for the next episode. But until then guys, if you've enjoyed the episode, hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, and as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.